What's up, guys? Danny with DBS. I'm going to show you what to wear paintballing. And yes, I'm kind of psycho. I hang up my clothes, including my pants. Psycho. <clears throat> so let's go over it. What to wear paintballing. So if I was paintballing, I would pick out, uh, this is kind of a like moisture wicking type of material. Oh, this is a good one too. Virtue one. But I would pick a lightweight shirt, especially for the summer. If it was winter time, I might go with uh, like one of these kind of turtleneck deals. So it's got the turtleneck and long sleeve. So maybe base layer, long sleeve, and then I'd pick one of my million sweatshirts. So that would be my upper layer, okay? So if it's cold outside, lower layer, ideally moisture wicking, long sleeve, and a sweatshirt is a good idea. You could also go with a coat if it's like a rainy day, but that would just be kind of a choice. Layers are always better, so you could take those layers off. So even in the summer, if you're worried about it hurting, then you could wear all, bring all those layers and you don't have to wear them. So let's go over lower body. So lower body, probably not gonna wear shorts, but you could. Uh, I would probably actually wear these to play in because I'm just like crazy. But uh, I wouldn't recommend sweats because sweats are like, they absorb moisture. If you sweat, they build up moisture. Uh, I would probably actually wear like these jeans because they're my dirty work jeans and they are loose fitting. So loose fitting is better, um, but these aren't bad. If you had like snowboarding pants and it was the winter time, <clears throat> like you can see, I probably have worn, these are snowboarding pants or winter pants and I've probably worn them at paintball or outside at least. So that would be a good choice in the winter. Uh, lots of people will actually wear kind of basketball shorts or sports shorts under whatever layer that they are wearing. So same thing, you could also layer up with that. You could wear uh, basketball shorts or like swim trunks or something that's comfortable you can move around in. And then wear, like I wouldn't recommend sweats as a top thing, but like something loose fitting for the lower body is a good idea. Uh, like old jeans is fine. Be aware, like it is an outdoor course where you can get grass stains, so, you know. And then it is a great idea also to bring a change of clothes for the way home, so extra set of clothes is good. And then for shoes, you just want to wear high traction shoes. Uh, I don't recommend sandals, but you could play in them. Uh, you do want to be able to move around. So good, you know, high traction shoes is also a good idea. For your headwear, your mask is going to, you have to wear this uh, hat backwards if you wear a hat. But beanies are like the greatest choice. Be aware if you do wear a beanie that has this lip to it, when you put your mask over it, when the mask kind of moves around, it kind of pulls this down and gets in your way. So like this one has it too, but usually like the beanie I wear when I play all the time, my gear bag doesn't have this little lip. So it doesn't, uh, <clears throat> doesn't roll around, but this does give you a little extra padding on the head. So I would recommend a beanie or some other cover like that. Again, you can always flip your hat around backwards, but it doesn't always work perfectly. So at the end of the day, I'd recommend bringing layers, try to wear comfortable clothing that are, that are baggy fitting. Uh, think of if you hung a towel on a, a clothesline and you threw something at it, it kind of takes the oomph out of things. So you wanna make sure that the clothes you have are a little baggy fitting. It'll make it hurt a little less, makes the likelihood of the paintball breaking lower. And then it's really recommended to bring a change of clothes. Uh, one thing I will tell you too, is at the park, I noticed a lot of people leave their shoes there because they wear old trashy shoes, which is fine. Um, <clears throat> I'd recommend you wear shoes you don't mind getting dirty. And then you could wear sandals for the way home. Like each week when I play, I, I have cleats to play in. So if you have those, you could uh, wear cleats. If you don't have cleats, high traction shoes are fine. And then like sandals to wear home and you know maybe those basketball shorts to wear home so you're comfortable is a good idea. So that's what to wear. Thanks.